Uh, four cents right now. I think this is a great place to be buying right in here. Uh, the next Gala Impulse is going to... Yeah, it's going to bring us all the way up to... I mean, some incredible targets. So the next Gala move... I mean, you're looking at a 340% rally. This is where, you know, the next major resistance are going to be. Uh, it wouldn't surprise me if we actually push all the way up into... Uh, all the way up into, you know, 28 cents... Uh, which would be a 7x basically you know going from these lows right here yeah these i mean honestly if you want to 10x your investment i think gala is the one like it doesn't even have to go back to so time high for you to do a 10x it's just got to push all the way up into the 40 and uh into the 30s and 40 cents like if this is your entry right here uh, i'm yeah i mean i try to go down here but if this is your entry right here you know all gala's gotta do is you know if it goes to yeah, 45 cents. That's a 10x for you. Right before 50 cents, that's a 10x. So not even going back to the old time high. It just gotta go to uh to 45 cents. That's a 10x right there. So to me, Gala is a fantastic opportunity right here. Like I don't think there's a better opportunity than Gala. I mean, yeah, yeah, maybe there's plenty more. So and then you got Amp. You know, some of you are asking about Amp. So Amp right here. Yeah, even, even amp i mean great time to get in right here guys i mean the next weekly leg up yeah it's probably going to bring amp yeah all the way up to these targets i'm looking at three cents so that's gonna be a 300 percent move so which is really good yeah i mean great time to be a buyer right now uh what else ocean protocol i mean what an unbelievable buy opportunity right here uh the next move is gonna bring ocean you know, all the way up to an uh, all time high, basically 135% rally. All right. And then, you know, Koti. Koti's a good one. I mean, yeah, if you're not buying Koti right here, I mean, honestly, I don't know what to tell you. Uh, the next weekly, uh, yeah, the next weekly high probably brings Koti to retest its all time high. Which is going to be a 500% move. Uh, really nice. And then you also have Rune. I mean, Rune right here to me is a big bargain. Uh, from right down here, you know, all the way up to the all time high of $23. Uh, you're looking at a 387% rally. And again, I'm not predicting that these are the bottom, but it's just what it is. And going back to, like, if you really want to capture the bigger gains. Uh, take a look at Rune. You know, if you go from the bottom, 81 cents, all the way up to the top of the rally. You know, Rune did a 13x, right? But in order for you to really capture this 13x, you had to go through multiple. I mean, take a look at this drop right here. This was a 36% drop. And this was a 47% drop. So you just, there's no way you avoid these drops right here. Like, very close to impossible all right the same way it is so hard to avoid this one but after this drop is over so like this one right here this is a 60 percent drop after the 60 percent drop is over you know rune is you know definitely going to you know 22 dollars all right and going from right here up to 22 again you're looking at almost a 400 percent move all right almost a 400 percent move so many of these projects guys i mean to me these are great bargains and then you look at you got near protocol right here so i remember you know buying near somewhere around here and then near went it on to do you know a 7x right you can't get a 7x you know without going through this 48 percent drop and here we have another one speaking of a 48 percent drop here we have another one this is a 50 percent drop but at some point in this bull market, near protocol is going to be at $20. And then when you go from the bottom all the way up to 20, this is an 18X. And then what you realize is there was no way for you to capture this 18X without going through a 46% pullback, excuse me, a 48% pullback, a 51% pullback. It's just, yeah, it's one of those things where it's, it's all, I mean, not all or nothing, but it's just, you know, it comes with the risk. You know, it comes with the risk. 
Then you also have Magic. Magic right here. Uh, Magic has been, oh my gosh, it's been terrible. Uh, Magic right here. A big drop right here. So the next move should bring Magic to around, you know, $1.60. So right here, yeah, that's a 140% move. And then right up there, around $2. So if I go from these lows all the way up to 2 that's about a 346% move. Yeah, I mean, that's a big move right there. Yeah, no pain, no gains. Absolutely. And Alex, you can... And Alex knows what I'm talking about because, you know, Alex, you bought Fetch AI around a couple of cents. And then Fetch AI is at $3. And then you're looking at Fetch AI right now and you're like, yo, I could have made, you know, so much money. But I took profits early. So Kareem, Alex is a great person to ask when it comes to, yo, I just can't handle, you know, a 50 or 60% pullback because Alex bought Fetch AI and, I, and I'm using Alex not because, you know, there's anything against him, but it's because, you know, he shared that with us. But, you know, something, uh, someone like Alex, you know, he's looking at Fetch AI. His entry was somewhere around here. You know, Fetch AI went on to do a 46X, but he took profits early. Fetch AI went on to do a 73% drop, a, you know, 30 or 40 something percent drop, but it ended up doing a 46X, but he exited early. So was it more beneficial to exit early or to stay in that position? and? You know, just, you know, ride this out. All right. And I think Randa was the other one. You know, Alex, hopefully I'm not wrong. I think you said you got into Randa around, you know, maybe a dollar or somewhere below a dollar. So Randa goes on to do, you know, let's say your entry was like 90 cents. Randa goes on to do a 14x, but you took profits early. And now you're looking at Randa and you're like, man, I should have hold on to my position. But these are the pullbacks that, you know, you have to endure, you know, throughout the journey, all right? That was a 55% drop. This was a 36% drop. And here we have another one. But months from now, you know, Randa somewhere around, let's say $30, $50. You look back and you're like, yo, I should have just hold on to my position because, yes, I avoided the, uh, I avoided the bigger drop yes you know i was out of the market when renda was doing you know 55 percent pullback or a 40 percent pullback but at the same time you know i missed out on you know a 30x like do you know what a 30x is you know you put five thousand dollars in a project and it goes up 30x yo that's i don't know half a million dollars maybe or somewhere around you know, a quarter million dollars and don't call me on these numbers, you know, just making it up. You see, there you go. Yeah, Alex, exactly. Alex's entry was six cents and 12 cents. Uh, no, he's six cents and sold it at 12 cents. Great trade. It was able to, you know, double his investment. But there you go. Another one, right? Metis, his, uh, Metis, his entry was $13. He exited at 23 and Metis went on to go above $100. So it's one of those things where, I mean, honestly, it's like, there's no right or wrong answers. And at the same time, you can't win, listen, you can't win them all. But at the same time, to me, it goes back to the first thing I was talking about earlier. Like, what are you after exactly? What is your time horizon? Because... Look, if your time horizon is 12 months, like you don't need to react when the market is pulling back for, you know, for two weeks, three weeks, even two months. Like there's no need to react, all right? Uh, your time horizon is very important. Uh, the type of risk that you're willing to take on is very important. So if you don't like, you know, a lot of volatility, I mean, the cryptocurrency market is volatile, but if you don't want to take on that much of a volatility, you know, you buy Bitcoin, right? But at the same time, what are you really going to get from Bitcoin? You know, a 2X, a 3X. And in order for you to do a, two, a 2X or a 3X, you got to buy Bitcoin below 30,000. Or you can go with, with Ethereum. You know, Ethereum give you a 3 to 5X. But great gains, but nothing like, 
a 20x, a 30x, a 50x. So it's one of those things where you, you just, it is what it is. You have to be okay with the risk. And, you know, you hope at the end that, you know, 